Yeah, guys, 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 we are back, guys, we are back, guys, we are so back, <laughs> shout out to everybody, man, shout out to, you know, gonna be watching, obviously, guys, shout out to the subs, I love you guys so much, guys, like, I mean, you guys know, this, literally the entire channel is just you guys giving me music to listen to, really, right, that's literally what this is, so, like, it's always, it's always so fun when you guys give me something new to listen to you know what i mean because like you you know we're doing kind of like a lot of discography is kind of a weird thing that we're doing but like so when we do an, an album from someone that we've already heard like i am usually like excited to hear like where they go next but it's a different type of thing because i'm already somewhat at least familiar you know what i mean like this one right now guys i am so super super excited like i'm like excited excited because like i don't even know what we're about to get into i don't even know what this is going to sound like um all I know is I have been hearing the name. I've been hearing the name, and um, a bunch of you guys told me to check uh, to check out this album. So, guys, we're here, guys. Um, so, guys, skip ahead if you want to just get to the music. Hold on, guys. I just gotta say really quick, guys. Shout out to Jacob Staten forty seven forty six. Shout out to uh, J O B R zero seventeen. Um, 17, that's my number. I love you. <laughs> that's my favorite number. Um, shout out to, uh, the N. Ravelli. My bad, guy. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know how to say this. My bad, my bad, guy. Um, N R A V E L E S. You know who you are. <laughs> shout out to you. Um, C C. Um, C C. You, you already, do I even have to tell you I love you? You already know that. <laughs> I don't even have to shout you out. CC, I love you. Um, guys, if you don't know, that's literally the funniest person on the entire channel. Aside from me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's me and CC, guys. Um, and shout out to, uh, to Jacques Neal. Jacques Neal? Jacques Neal? My bad. <laughs> My bad. From Brazil. Shout out to Brazil. Damn. All right, guys, when you got people all over the world saying you got to check this out, freaking Jacques from Brazil, freaking CC from Germany. I don't know where the rest of you guys are from, but, um, man, shout out to everybody, guys. All right, I'm excited. Let me shut up, guys. Let's just, let's get into this, guys. Um, I have no idea what this is going to be. Oh, also, shout out Skittle Wizard, who told me to listen to this the other day on the live. And shout out to Gail King, who told me on Patreon that I got to check this out. Um, if there's anybody else who said I need to check this out and I forgot, my bad. You guys, you guys know I'm like super ADHD. Yes. Um, so guys, uh, let's just get into this. Uh, actually, speaking of ADHD, really fast, guys. Random ass thing, but guys, does anybody remember Chaparon? <laughs> because I swear, when I typed in the name Chaparon, I, I, I the first thing I thought of was Chaparon. Like, what? Is, what? I was like, I've heard Chaparon before. I'm like, oh no, I'm thinking Chaparon. <laughs> Guys, did anybody used to watch Chespirito? Does anybody even know what I'm talking about? Digam licenciado. Licenciado. Gracias. Muchas gracias. No hay de queso, no más de papa. <laughs> Guys, tell me somebody out there understands my 50-year-old TV reference. My 50-year-old Mexican TV reference. <laughs> Tell me somebody remembers Chaparon, guys. Guys, let me shut up. Let me shut up, guys. Release September 22nd, 2023. Guys, the rise and fall. Guys, first of all, hold up. I, that album title is already such an interesting title, too. Like, like just off the title alone, too. You know what I mean? Because, like, some, you know what I mean? I don't know. Sometimes you have an album and it's just like, okay, the title is just sort of, I don't, like, not that it's bad or good. Or good, but it's just sort of like, oh, that's a, it's just a title, like that's a title. You know what I'm saying? But this is something where it's like, oh, what is this? What are we about to get into? What? The rise and fall of guys. Let me shut, guys. Let me shut up, guys. We're here. We're queer, guys. We don't want any more bears. The rise and fall of a Midwest princess, Chapel Roan. Let's get into it. Okay, it would help, it would, it would, it would help if the speakers were on my bag. <laughs> After all that, the speakers weren't even on. Guys. Pictures and playlists 
out in September. You're really hearing it now? What? Nobody wanted to tell me about this in September. <laughs> I know some of you guys did, my bad. I don't know, I just got turned down, my bad, guys. say at least on these first three tracks this is okay see because maybe i don't know what this is gonna be let me let me say my rambling for the end can't meet you for dinner at the italian places where i met your family some words were exchanged it's so just the jazz bar when Marianne Street, but you buy me a drink and we know where that leads. So I'll meet you for a coffee. Cause if we have wine, you say that you want me. I know that's a lie. If I didn't love you, it would be fine. I'll meet you for a coffee. 
This, uh, this, this is... You know what they say, never waste a Friday night on a first date. But there I was, in my heels with my hair straight. And so I took him to this bar. This man wouldn't dance. He didn't ask a single question. And he was wearing these fiery jeans. It doesn't matter though. He doesn't have what it takes to be with a girl like me. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
jealous, but my king is watching you. is watching you watching you
flip this whole thing over right now i don't care guys <laughs> i don't even care i 
Dirty mind, 
planning on telling me about this like <laughs> really really nobody wanted to tell me nobody thought like hey you should like hear this <laughs> yes i know you guys were telling me for a while i know guys um <sighs> this i mean it's like where do you even start like what do i even like there's so much but the 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 best i think like i feel like the easiest thing to say is just like this is amazing and i'm and i'm just gonna get up now and end the video <laughs> because what am i supposed to say? man you know that was a whole thing it was like a whole journey you know <laughs> it was like a whole like a whole thing it was a whole story it was the rise and fall of a midwest princess it was literally it was literally it was like it was like uh guys you ever see uh abbott and costello meet frankenstein guess what it's about guys <laughs> abbott and costello meet frankenstein that's what happens guys this this is called the rise and fall of a midwest princess and that's literally what happened guys <laughs> That's literally what this was. Wow. You know, it's so interesting, too, the way, like, you know, those melodies, man, they're like, um, they were just too good, you know? Like, they were too good. And it had, you know, it definitely, it definitely was not a 100% because I feel like it was trying to do something overall. In terms of like, like a somewhat of a, not a through line of storyline, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? Like the the thing, the thing of the thing, but like, so not every song was like a, a beat type thing, but the ones that were were definitely. I don't know how to say. I know it sounds crazy, but like it sounds like I don't know how to describe it other than like a return to fun you know and not this and it's not necessarily every song on the album not that 
you know the songs that weren't a uh, beat weren't like good or fun but you know what i'm saying like like a return to fun meaning like you know not it's kind of weird because like it's hard to say because all right like so, uh, like as the uh, when you hear the entire i'm, I'm blah 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 <laughs> <laughs> out of context meaning like just hearing some of these songs on their own versus like in the entire album right so like i feel like if you were to just hear like if you hadn't heard the entire album and you just heard one like one of these songs one of these upbeat songs and that's it like it would be like like it sounds fun do you know what i mean as opposed to like which there was some of this on this album and i'm not saying it's a bad thing but it's like a lot of pop now it's more about like not more about but there's a lot of like being serious and being emotional and it's not necessarily like a fun thing like pop like forever and ever never was just about having fun and then eventually people tried to be like you know profound with pop and then now you have a lot of like which is fine there's nothing wrong with it i I like a lot of it you know what i mean um you guys you know how obsessed i am with melodrama um (laughs) but i'm just saying it's this See, uh, some of this it seemed like more like a like a you know what I mean like uh, hey let's, this is fun like not in just like like in everything like I was just like not in just not just fun in terms of like hey something's upbeat because that's you could anybody could just do it. that's you just set the tempo to a higher tempo <laughs> like when you're making a song it's not hard you know what I mean so it's like um, so it's not about that but it's about fun in terms of like the way the arrangements were the way the, the certain sounds were and definitely those melodies. There was those the melodies themselves and certain things that the melodies were doing were just like very like fun. You know what I mean? Just very fun. Even just starting it out immediately with just like saying something on the track. You know what I mean? Um You know what I mean? I, I'm thinking like so I'm thinking like the key the to me like the most fun music I could think of. It's like the kings of fun music to me, Van Halen, and David Lee Roth would do that on a bunch of songs. He would just start talking, like, but it's like it gives it like a thing, and like, man, and then now even to mention this cover, you guys, this cover. I don't know what else we're gonna get this year, so I I don't. It's too early to call it, but as for now, guys, I will say this is a cover of the year. Like, this is not even close. Guys, this cover, though, is crazy. Wow. And this album, I, I really wish I would have heard it last year. I really wish I would have, you know, been listening to this already, because I, I want to hear this again. Um, man, look at this cover, right? This image is insane. You know, and the, that, that just lets you know, too, because it's like there's no... No, there's like all super amazing like anytime you have like a super fire like album cover because it's so easy to have like a whatever album cover you know like this one though oh my gosh look at this wow there's so much going on there's literally so much going on we could just talk for 20 minutes just about this cover itself damn wow man this is really like you know what sucks about this too though I will say <laughs> I know it's like, no, nothing sucks about it. No, something does suck about it. I'm going to tell you what sucks about this music. I'm going to tell you what totally sucks about what you guys made me listen to. This sucks because this makes me want to make music right now (laughs) instead of doing more reactions. Because hearing that, that was so good. It just makes me want to make music. Like, like, I want to make music too. (laughs) Like, that's what I do. That's the whole point of me even having this whole place. So, like, um, yeah. Damn, guys, shout out to everybody, guys. We'll be back, guys. Um, I know some of you guys told me um, that there's a she has a new song that we got to check out. So, guys, we'll do that one. Um, we'll be back with that. And, guys, check out in the description. Check out my channel, my music. And we'll be back, guys.